Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about the W, sorry, uh, the admin NQ scripts uh, action hook. Uh, this is an extremely important action hook. Okay, so what does this do? So let's go on codex and we check the do action function and we've got this hook admin NQ scripts. Uh, and as we can see that it NQ scripts for all admin pages. Okay, so if you want to include our style sheets, uh, our JavaScript files, etc in the admin page you know in this all of the admin pages or any specific admin page if you want to include our JavaScript file or our uh, style sheet file we can include that using this hook remember uh, we have covered in the previous videos that um, uh, the admin print style and admin print scripts are used for echoing an inline JavaScript and sorry inline uh, style and inline JavaScript respectively they are not used to include the uh, style sheets and and you know JavaScript files they only used to uh, include the inline uh, JavaScript and inline styles so we are not going to use the admin print scripts and admin print styles uh, for including our JavaScript and style sheets uh, for that we use the admin NQ script admin NQ scripts okay so that's the main use of uh, this hook and uh, where is this defined? Uh, it is defined in admin header.php. So if you go to the admin header.php and if you go on to the do action, uh, which is included in WP admin folder, okay, we can see that this is the hook and it says that NQ scripts for all admin pages for all remember this is for all admin pages but we can you know put some condition into our custom functions if we want to include javascript or style sheets uh, on on a specific page uh, one thing more interesting is that it gives us this uh, you know parameter this argument hook suffix so this will make this variable uh, available to our custom function and what is this this is actually the string and this is the current admin page name okay so I'll explain that to you you know what it means in a moment okay but before that also like to let you know that if you want to include your style sheets and JavaScript files uh, in your front end then you use the WP NQ scripts and if you want to include it in the back end then admin NQ scripts is the name of the hook that you used so this is your front end your website okay if you want to include your style sheet or JavaScript file uh, in this uh, front end then you will use the WP uh, NQ scripts and if you want to include in the back end of the uh, admin uh, you know page all admin pages then you will need to use the uh, admin NQ script so this is the difference so I'll show that to you so if I go ahead and use this hook WP NQ scripts and if I go on to front end, and I refresh the page and I go ahead and do a page source and search for style.css, you can see this style has been applied. Yeah. Cool. So that's for the front end. So the WPNQ scripts is used for front end and let's comment it out and uncomment the admin and queue scripts and this is used for the backend which is the this is the hook that we're talking about uh, is the topic for discussion which is WP and queue scripts okay so what we're gonna do is uh, you know we're using add action and putting the name of the hook so that it can latch on to the do action hook and this hook suffix will be available to us into our custom function so this is our custom function and we've got the hook suffix available here I haven't used it here but we can use it especially uh, you know when we want to uh, use the or include the style sheets and JavaScript file on a specific admin page that's when we can you know take help of this uh, variable okay so um, so this is what I'm doing right now I'm including my style sheet now there are two ways of including the style sheet. One is just using one function, which is WPNQ style, and our style sheet will be included. And second way is first registering the style sheet 
and then enqueuing it. So if I had to write it, register style, and then we can enqueue it. So both will do the same work. Q U E U E. Okay. So just to explain that to you that the previous one will also do the same work, uh, and this one will also do the same work. But the benefit of defining in this manner is that later on, if another plugin developer or theme developer comes in and they want to remove your uh, style sheet you know it'll be very easy for them to do that by unregistering the style sheet and if you just register this style sheet at one place later on at any other place if you want to just enqueue it you can just call this function and enqueue that style and you'll be able to enqueue the style with this this slug that we have so we can just keep this slug anything that we want preferably you know if you want to go ahead and uh, prefix it uh, by doing namespacing that'll be actually much better so that it doesn't clash with other uh, slugs. Okay. Uh, similarly, for NQ script also, you can do a WP register script, and then you can just use the WP register uh, WP NQ uh, script. Okay, and then you can go ahead and use the slug name to include that. So I'll just show that to you. So let's change this. Script. Perfect. Okay, so this is a better way of doing it rather than just writing one line of code. Both will work though. So let's go ahead and uh, go back to the admin page and see if that works. Refresh the page. Go on to the page source. And search for style.css. As you can see, this is applied. Yep. And search for the JavaScript.js. JavaScript.js and as you can see this is applied to yep great so basically this is how this function is used this hook is used to go ahead and include your uh, style sheets and uh, you know, JavaScript files uh, your script files using this hook uh, into the admin section now this is this function basically is going to include this on all of the admin pages so irrespective of whether you go on post or you go on comment uh, comment or if you go on pages those you know style sheets will be available everywhere you know if you just want to check and do style you can see that it's included everywhere right but what if you want to you know have it only on specific uh, pages in fact the best practice would be to have it on the page that you need there's no point including them everywhere because that would just unnecessarily increase increase the load uh, you know uh, on the server so if you want to do that uh, I'll explain that to you how that works uh, so what you can do oh, just one moment yep so go ahead and copy that. In fact, we don't need to copy it. Just one moment, I'll just write the code for you. So let's say I want to include my you know, scripts and style sheets only on this page. Okay, so how do I know what is the name of the page? Uh, so you can see over here, this is the name of the page, editcomments.php. So what happens is, this hook is basically, uh, will give us the value. In fact, this variable that is coming from our uh, do action. So this hook, hook suffix is basically the current admin page, which means that whichever admin page you are on, so for example, I'm on this admin page comment, edit comments.php, is going to give us this value. Okay, so if I was on an appearance, uh, you know, uh, page, so that's themes.php page, so this is going to give us this value. So this hook is basically uh, this hook suffix, which is, uh, you know, given by the do action to our add action and then 
uh, available to our custom function this this variable basically will be equal to whichever admin page we are on so for example currently I'm on the comments so it's added comments.php so all we have to do is check whether this hook is equal to the added comments.php and if it is we want to include our style sheet and the script because I want to include the style sheet and script only on this page okay so that's what I'm doing right now it's very simple you go ahead and uh, you know check this condition if this is true then go ahead and include it otherwise if it's on any other page then don't include it okay so let's refresh the page go on to the page source and as you can see our style sheet is included yeah now if I had to go on the a different page for example posts and then view the page source um, one second as we can see we don't have it style dot CSS we don't have it it's not there okay so how do we know what's this the value of this okay so there are two ways first you go into that page whichever whichever page you want your style sheets and uh, scripts to be included and just check what is this value or you can also go ahead and uh, print it out so let's say So let's print the value of hook. So let's say I'm on this page, upload.php. Refresh the page, go into the page source, and you can see that this value is upload.php. Yeah? Similarly, if I was on a different page, let's say I was on plugins page, let's refresh it and check the page source, it's plugins.php. So the, the value of the hook variable is plugins.php. And that's what it is over here. So there are two ways to find out. First, you go into that page, check what the name of the page is. If you're not sure, you can always go ahead and you know print that value of the hook. And go into that page and then check the page source. And then, of course, it will give you the value of that page, value of the hook. And that's how you can go ahead and check the condition. Okay, now you can do this in your functions.php. And you can also do it in your plugins page as well. So if I had to just comment this out and go into my plugins uh, file main file and if I had any um, style sheet for my plugin so this is my plugin folder and this is my plugin it has style sheet and this is the main plugin file which I'm currently on if I want to go ahead and include this style sheet and if I want to include only on the edit comments.php we can check the same condition if hook value is equal to edit uh, comment.php if yes which means if you if the user is on this page then go ahead and include this style okay and that's what's going to happen if we refresh the page go into the comment you can see that this has become red why because the style sheet that we have applied says body background red yeah Great, so that's what it is then. Um, let me just check if there are anything that needs to be also informed to you guys. Uh, there's one more way to find out. Uh, this is, <laughs> I mean, I don't prefer this way, but you know, just in case if you want to know how this works, where Codex is explaining to you. If you want to know the value of the hook, uh, then all you can do is just do wp die hook and whichever page you are on whichever page you are on if you refresh the page it's going to give you that value see edit got comment.php okay and if i were to comment uncommented sorry comment it out and go on to a different page like users which is, it should give me users.php so let's uncomment this wp die which means die at this point and give me the value of hook for that page so it's users.php so it should give me users.php I mean I wouldn't prefer that way but just had, wanted to explain that to you whatever the WordPress is saying so what in the codex sorry if you unsure the hook name use this to determine your hook name put the code after from the function okay right so I think uh, that's about it um, for this 
admin and queue scripts and um, let's say despite the name it is used for enqueuing both scripts and styles so the name says enqueue scripts but you can use it to include both style sheets and scripts as well okay one more uh, important thing you need to mention that admin nq script is the first action hooked into the admin script actions so this is the first action hooked into the admin scripts action so if you go on to the source of this two action you can see that this is the first hook that's been you know included hooked into the admin script action this is the first one there's nothing else above that into the admin uh, header.php this is the first hook uh, that they have included yeah yep so i think that's about it then all right so i hope you like the video if you do then please do subscribe and share uh, my video with others so that it can help others as well because you know sometimes it's very difficult to find information uh, and uh, what i tend to do is that when i whenever i study and you know whenever i look for the information i want uh, others to to get uh, the information about it as well. That's why I go ahead and you know pass that knowledge. All right. Take care. Bye bye.